So, I have a pimple. I got a new package today. Figure let's do a new unboxing. Hands only style. I've been using the Kalita pullover carafe for the, the past two years and I've been wanting to get a electric carafe that's able to hold its temperature for the longest time. I read a lot of things great about the, uh, the fellow EKG and it's a little bit pricey so I've been on the fence about it for quite some time. However, Amazon's doing some great promotions, especially with the Discover card. I decided, you know what, heck, I'll just get one. And this will also make um, tea very convenient uh, because we also drink tea in this household. Uh, more on that on future episodes. This, I think, is going to be very convenient in brewing tea or in, the, in those times in between that you are doing a pour over, that you're just having the kettle set on the side. It's great to have the function where the kettle is able to hold its temperature. Uh, and I think for the for the EKG you can hold it for up to 60 minutes um, so I think you know I think it's, it, this is a great investment on the long run anyways so I want to do a quick unboxing for you guys today and also I do need to make coffee for uh, next week's work so I'm also going to just make my standard pullover and see how the experience is and share it with you guys all right so let's get this bad boy opened uh, right off the bat there's just some paperwork and a little Instagram and the carafe itself oh okay. it's nice that they actually separated the lid along with the carafe oh I got it in, in matte white just because I'm thinking about going for an all white setup in the future but here it is Huh, I, I gotta say this is a little bit um, smaller than I than I imagined for some reason. This is 0.9 liters or this is like a 1 liter. Anyways, I'll, I'll, t I'll, I'll look it up later. And we have a charging stand. Sorry, not, not charging stand. A boiling, boiler stand, I suppose. Anyways, let's get this box out of the way. It is. First of all, I, 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 I knew that this is a, a nice looking piece before I even got it, but you know, seeing it in person, it does look very nice. It's, it's got this nice, um, I guess what, galvanized? Is, is, is this what it's called? It's got like this textured metal matte finish. It's got some heft to it. One of the big thing about this kettle is the, the ergonomic handle. Uh, so far, I think it, it feels pretty great in my hand at, at least. Then on the stand itself, I think this is the, the dial to control the temperature and then you press it to set the timer. There is a hold function on, on the back here. Hopefully you guys can see this well. Uh, there's a hold, hold function that you can toggle uh, for the 60 minute hold timer and also a Celsius and Fahrenheit setting. Let's get this plugged in and uh, see how it works. All right, so before we actually get down to making the actual coffee, uh, I, do, I did want to do a quick comparison on the flow rate on between the uh, the fellow and my existing Kalita. So, here they are. I just want to fill them up with water first. Okay, all right, so let's try the Kalita first. For me, I'm, I'm pretty much very, very used to how the Kalita pours at this point. Uh, you can actually force a lot more water out of it. See, put the cleater. It does feel that there is a slightly larger opening. So if I wanted to pour a lot more water faster, you can. Uh, however, for a pour over craft, that might not necessarily be a good thing because most of the time you do want a more controlled flow. Uh, this will be my first time trying the fellow. Let's see if this is any better. Yeah. So right off the bat, um, definitely this this is so much slower especially when compared to this for the way i feel it this this flows so much slower than the kalita and let's see if i tip it more yes it's, it, it okay definitely it still feels a bit more restrained even when i do kind of like a extreme tip but if you want to really really get your uh, water flow down to a, a slow slow pour the fellow definitely is better. You, I can have such a small, small little stream coming out of the kettle. It's quite nice. I don't know how big of a difference it's gonna make in practice, but when it comes, you know, compared to something like this, if like water control is, is, is your is your thing, the fellow definitely is better. 
Okay, so next I want to see how well it does heating up water. So the first thing is I do wish that the wire is a little bit longer. This is this is all of it. Um, I wish that it was a little bit longer, so you know it's it's easy easier for me to shoot the whole thing on the table. I don't have an extension cable that's long enough, so I had to move it over to my counter here. In terms of the design itself, I do really like how easy it is to set the temperature. You can just set it to exactly where you want it to be, and the hold mode is on, so it's also going to hold it at that temperature. I have filled up the water here, uh, pretty much. Yeah, it's pretty much full. And I want to see how, how fast it is for it to get boiling. All right, so I noticed something interesting. Uh, as you as you kind of get close to your, your go temperature, the kettle kind of slows down a little bit, kind of slowly creeps towards that temperature. I guess is to to not um, go over. All right, so this whole thing probably from you know from room temperature to 209, it took about three minutes, which I think is it's not bad at all. You, you, when I used to boil the water directly over stovetop, it took just about the same amount of time. What's nice about this right now is that it's able to hold its temperature here just like this, you know, so I can maintain the same temperature throughout my entire pour. So the water's already boiled and I'm just holding it at its temperature over there. And I'm just gonna grind up some coffee and then we can get this pour over started. Pre-wetting the filter. I'm obviously still doing the last short method as I'm gonna drink it uh, while I work tomorrow and so it doesn't matter, it's gonna get cold anyway, I'm also do it this way. All right, so next comes the pouring. Normally my water probably would have dropped a lot in terms of temperature, but this kettle obviously was able to hold its temperature exactly at, yeah, at the temperature that we set it at, which is super convenient. Just another note here while I'm letting this coffee bloom. The flow rate is it's very controlled. It's very even. Um, actually, it feels more even than the Kalita. But the biggest difference is that the water flow is very, very controlled, very, very uh, refined. I like the experience. Uh, the kettle is a lot heavier though. Okay, it looks just about done. Alright, so a conclusion, or rather a summary of what I thought after I made my first pour over with this new kettle. First of all, it looks beautiful. I think there's no denying that it, it looks nice on your counter, and especially if you if you are someone who appreciate pretty looking tools, I think this is a big plus. On a more practical standpoint, it boils water very quickly. It took no longer than what it normally took for for me to boil water over the, the counter, and this is a, a bigger volume. Of course, the fact that it's able to hold its temperature while I did all the prep for the video, I prep for the coffee, and I come back to it is still being held at that nice temperature without having to fuss over uh, having a set of counter for the. 30 seconds or having it to reboil and do that whole thing again it's very convenient you know with coffee especially for pour overs constant temperature it, it's very very important it takes one variable out of the entire process for you so definitely something that i didn't know i was missing until i have it so i think the biggest knock i will have against this unit is actually the price at 150 dollars is definitely not something that's within everybody's budget but you know after making coffee at home for quite some time i do believe this might be you know the next tool that i that could get me to make better coffee at home lastly some nitpicks there's nothing i can say about the kettle itself everything feels premium everything feels nice um, the handle is very ergonomic but on the heating unit here the buttons on the back does feel a little bit flimsy uh, especially when it's compared uh, against the rest of the unit you know the button feels nice the screen looks nice the kettle looks nice but then you have this loose feeling switch again this is just nitpicking and one more thing is that I wish cord is a little bit longer as you guys guys can see this is a very short cord you know this could potentially limit where I can place this unit and for me I can only boil water on the counter or I can I guess I will have to run a long extension cord if I want to brew this say on my uh, coffee table while, while I'm having tea I don't know I'll figure something out but I think a, a retractable cord or something might have been nice again just nitpicking all right so I just wanted to do this quick impression and unboxing for you guys I hope you guys like this video and maybe it helped you guys get some perspective on whether or not this kettle might be for you as always uh, if you like the the content if you want to support the channel please like the video subscribe share the video with your friends enable the bell icon you know how it works all right i'll see you guys next time bye